quiet, it's peaceful. The water is so blue. It's so nice out here. Yeah, I'm all alone on the boat. So um, I get to do whatever I want. It is kind of strange, honestly. I actually have never been on the boat all alone. Warren has, and of course he did great. I'm gonna do great too, I know I am. I gotta manage this whole thing by myself. I'm staying at anchor, so it's not that big of a deal, and especially in this anchorage, it's super protected. Yeah, it's a bit weird being all alone. It's gonna be a bit weird. It was weird being in the bed by myself, waking up alone, uh, quite different. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I am gonna like to have a little me time because it's so rare to be alone. On the it is rare to have your own alone time on the boat. Um, I would say in the last four years that Warren and I have been together and living on a sailboat, there's probably been about two or three different occasions that we haven't been together. So it is a bit strange to, to start off that we're doing our own thing right now. I get to do whatever I want. I think it's really important that we have our own time and we have our own space, especially living on a boat. Um, but of course we've gotten so used to doing everything together. Um, it's kind of hard to get into what to do, but I don't think I'm going to have a problem today. Just enjoying being all by myself. Looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to doing it. Better drink some more coffee. And honestly, I'm looking forward for the challenge to being able to do this all by myself. It's not like I'm moving the boat, but I'm sure if I needed to, I am very capable of doing so. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Warren's not here, so uh, I gotta be both of us and do the duties that he does usually on the boat. And one of them is to make sure our solar panels actually get sunshine and rotate them throughout the day. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning, first thing, as the sun is super bright because we are having battery issues and I need to watch them and maintain their charge. Um, and luckily it's just me that I'm not gonna be using a lot of, whole, a lot of power myself keep the batteries pretty good but it is one thing that I know Warren is concerned about while I'm on the boat all alone. See I did it Warren sort of. <laughs> oh, this thing drives me crazy. <laughs> all right there we go we're getting a charge. Perfect! Great, okay, now that's done, on to the fun stuff. swim.
all done with phase one, got my receipt. It's, I feel successful, but it's also weird because I don't have a US passport. I don't have a visa to go into France. Uh, so at the moment, but we'll go to the US passport office and ask for a second one, which is a legal thing that you can do. And I should be good to return in the next few days to home, to French Polynesia, so. Whew. Got it. can be very frustrating without worn around, but I'm gonna give it a break, let it cool, reassess, think, and try it again. I gotta get this dinghy to start. <laughs> I got dad back on board. I'm gonna put him to work while Warren's gone. There's a little bit of a price to pay when you come stay on Va. Do a little bit of boat work. That's all. Great, Dad. 
Good, huh? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, we were waiting for you to get here. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, it is so good to be back. I'm so, so happy. We had a good trip. Erica was fine on the boat by herself, obviously. But I'm so glad to be back. Um, so I thought real quick this morning, the first thing is that I would do kind of a follow-up. Um, obviously, I was able to get my second American passport and I was able to apply for the long sea visa. But the way this whole thing was supposed to work out is not how it ended up working out. I found out when I got to Tahiti, um, we thought we were being kind of slick based on um, experiences from others that they had gone through. And we thought we were gonna be able to get me in on a second short stay visa and I would be able to stay here another three months while we wait for our long stay visa. I know it's complicated and not that exciting for these videos, but this is what's going on in our life. So I have five days left in the country right now. Um, so God, it's just so frustrating. We really thought, we didn't think we were breaking the rules. We just thought that this is kind of the way it worked is that I was coming in on a second passport number. So I was gonna get a second visa and that's not the case anymore. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna hit the ground running today. Um, we have some exciting things happening. Um, our boat life is not really like the typical boat life. I've realized where everything is like just slow and easy. No, it's like this is we have a lot going on in our life right now. Um, <laughs> we have to go to the high commissioner's office today, which is like the um, their embassy, essentially their little embassy that they have here and plead our case and see what we can do. Um, we also have batteries arriving today. The, we've been working on this for about three months because our battery bank is essentially dead and they, they're arriving today. Uh, so I need time to put those in and of course we have a video that we need to upload so there's just a lot lot going on right now and um, not exactly getting home and getting to relax it's like hitting the ground running so that's the update for you and we'll see how it all ends up playing out today wish us luck we may need it here we go Well, first thing up this morning for me is I'm at the marina waiting for our battery delivery. I'm sure we have talked plenty about the fact that our existing AGM battery bank has been dying and uh, it's kind of been the bane of my existence because I hate running the generator and not being completely self-reliant, which the boat should be, but the batteries are just dying. So I'm very happy to announce our partnership with one of the industry leading um, lithium ion battery manufacturers. It is Rely On Battery. And so we have worked very hard to set ourselves up with a great battery bank. Thanks to Rely On Energy. They are one of the industry leaders in this technology. And more than that, they are a huge proponent of green, reliable energy um, technology. So I loved that about them. And so I'm very excited to get this delivery here today and get these batteries on board and uh, fix our girl up because she's just not operating at her optimal level right now. And I'm really ready to fix that. So I couldn't be more thrilled. This is gonna be great. I just gotta find the guy. Bonjour. Bonjour. How are you? Okay. Okay. This way? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. They're here.
that? We have all sorts of boat presents. Vaughn, get ready to be treated. It's like a spa day for Vaughn now. Is it though? Because we Vaughn just... Spa day. Dad and I cleaned it and then you come back and... I'm going to make it a total mess. Total mess it up. <laughs> I'm doing a great job of driving. Okay. Very good. Okay. Are they heavy? They're not that bad. <laughs> oh, you're heavy! Yeah. Whew. Okay. Now the real work begins. All right. So mission two today is to go to the high commissioner's office. We've got all the batteries here and I'll get them going. But we need to figure out what's going on with my visa here. So we're going to head into town, plead our case, hope for the best. We really want to stay. Woo! Okay, okay. We have good news. Great news, actually. Mm. Uh, okay, we just got back from the high commissioner's office. Went in there and explained to him that we're working on my year-long visa. And that I'd been to LA and we're trying to do all this right. So I did all the paperwork and everything's pending but that I only had five days left on my original visa. And he actually went in the back room, called the Washington office, verified that Your I, receipt yeah, that you went I to this showed him all this, but yeah. he verified and talked to them and, and they and, and said that everything is looking good. I should be receiving my year long visa. So he granted me a three month extension. Were you sweating bullets? Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen. I thought we might have to leave in five days. Oh my God, what a relief. What we can say. So, yeah. long story short, it's pretty complicated, but it's worked out and we're staying. Oh, thank God, honey. And I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, you got a lot of batteries to put together. I'm going to go do so, that. Okay. I mean, you don't have to rush in five days. No, you're right. I have a few more. <laughs> you got some time. Some time. But I'm going to go do but that. But we do need some power. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm going to go. Well, right on, right on. We got the, uh, the batteries on board. Um, it was pretty easy, actually, because they're way lighter than the lead acid batteries that we are all super used to. Um, these things weigh about 50 pounds, which is about half the weight of a normal battery. And their lifespan is three times. And they also boost about double the power. So they're smaller, they're lighter. I'm very excited to have them on the boat. I'm really excited to um, get them installed and see what they can do. And that's pretty much the rest of my afternoon. It's very warm, but I'm gonna power through it because it's fun. And I got a whole bunch of other stuff that actually has to go into this new battery cables, alternator protection devices, uh, battery isolation monitor, and uh, an external regulator for the alternator. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than just swapping it out, but totally doable for even the DIY um, person. So let's get this going. Look at this beautiful, beautiful bank. How many did we have before? We had five, but the thing with lead acid batteries are that you can only use them down to about 50% of their capacity, which is super weird, but that's just the way that those are set up. And we have the exact same battery bank in there, 600 amp hours. And so we have 600 usable amps where 600 amp hours of AGM is 300. So we essentially have doubled our battery bank. What do you think that? about that? I mean, I think that's fantastic news. <laughs> Are you feeling charged? I'm feeling super charged. Put your tongue on it. <laughs> <laughs> you shook. I'd say it's looking pretty darn good. Yeah, pretty clean, nice installation. I did it out here first, so it's easier to get everything cut and put in nice, and now I'll just kind of take it all off, put the batteries in place, and then just kind of strap it back down, bolt it back down, so that's the next step.
Okay. It's all out. All in all, not too tough. Except for the rain. That's kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, it never rains here. Except on the day that I need to work in the engine compartment and change the batteries out. Okay. Now, drill new holes for the air ducts, the air cooling system, and then uh, get these new batteries installed, man. But I just gotta push this power button for five seconds until the lights flash. No, that did not work. Can I have the instruction manual one more time? Here you go. All right. Well, good news. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, the batteries were on, so that's why I was having trouble turning them on. They were already on. So uh, these are smart batteries. So you, there's a button to push to turn them on. They're on. So. so turn on the beer fridge? <laughs> the most important thing, <laughs> yes. So we have a clean installation, brand new batteries. I couldn't be more excited. Uh, yeah, let's get that beer fridge I powered up. I'd get you a cold beer, but... Yeah, okay, first things first. Fridge, it's on, we got power. Woo!